everyone, my name is Amy Colley here with Otis Technology, going to be talking to you about how to properly clean and over on your shotgun. Here today, we're gonna to be demonstrating on my personal competitive shotgun, a Kohler Max Skeet. It's important to ensure that you're cleaning your firearm properly, especially in my position as someone who competes every single weekend. I want to make sure that I have full confidence in my equipment. It's also important to ensuring the longevity of your firearm and making sure that you're maintaining it properly. Otis offers three methods of breech to muzzle cleaning. The first being ripcord, which is a pull through board cleaner that can be used at the range while the barrel is still hot. If you prefer a more traditional method of gun cleaning, Otis also offers solid rods. For this demonstration, we're gonna be using the Otis pull through cable system. Before we get started, it's important to ensure that your firearm is both safe and unloaded and that there is no ammunition present. For more information on how to properly disassemble your firearm, refer to your owner's manual. Otis has a three-step cleaning process. The first being a wet patch, the second being a bronze brush, and the third being a dry patch. Now let's get out the components that we need. To ensure you have the proper gauge of bronze brush, you can reference the stem of the brush. This one indicates 12 gauge, so we're good to go. The first step is to thread on your slotted tip. and now we're going to put on a patch. Next step is the patch saver. The patch saver ensures that there is consistent contact with the patch from breech to muzzle all the way through the barrel. For more information on how to properly tie the patch, refer to the instructions included in the kit. Next, you're going to apply a CLP or a solvent of your choice. Next, you're going to pull the cable through breech to muzzle. As you can see, this provided a 360 degree clean of my barrel. Next, we move on to step two, which is the bronze brush. Step three is to run a dry patch through. Now you're going to want to run it through your barrel again. While my patch is still dirty, you'll want to repeat this process until a clean patch is produced. Now that we've cleaned the interior of the gun, we're going to focus on the exterior and I'll be taking out my choke tubes and cleaning them. As you can see, after several hundred rounds, these get pretty caked up. For this step, we're going to be using the Shooter's Choice Shotgun and Choke Tube Cleaner. While we let these soak, I'm going to spend some time cleaning my receiver and the hinge points by my ejectors. Next, focusing on the receiver, we're going to take the CLP and place it on the points where there is extra fouling, and we're going to use the AP brush to scrub the CLP in. Now we're going to wipe it off with a microfiber cloth.
Now we're going to focus on some of the hinge points near the ejectors that typically get built up with a lot of grease. Similar to the receiver, we're going to take a little bit of the CLP and our AP brush and we're going to put a few drops on the hinge points. Next, once we're finished with that, we're going to take our same microfiber cloth and wipe it clean. For a deeper clean, you'll want to consult your firearms manual for instructions on how to properly remove your ejectors. Now that these have had a chance to sit for a little while, we're going to take the AP brush again to scrub away any grime that's left over. Now that we have scrubbed the choke tubes, we're going to take some of the Shooter's Choice Quick Scrub to remove any remaining grime or grease. Now we're going to use some of the Shooter's Choice grease to put on the threading of our choke tubes before we put them back into the gun. Now we're going to screw the choke tubes back in and reassemble the firearm. Before you put your firearm back together, you'll want to ensure that you're putting grease on all of the necessary hinge points. Prior to reassembly, be sure to run a wet patch through the board to prevent rust and corrosion. At this point, you'll want to take a little bit of CLP on a clean portion of your microfiber cloth and wipe down the exterior of the barrel. This ensures you remove all fingerprints and make sure that your gun is all clean before you either put it away or head out to the range. This concludes our demonstration of how to properly clean an over-under shotgun. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much.